I spent a total of $526 on a variety of Hidden Fates products. Yes, Hidden Fates from 2019. It was such an incredible set in time for Pokemon, and I'm excited to try to recreate that magic today. But some magic for y'all at home. I'm giving y'all a chance at a sealed Evolving Skies booster box. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know what is your favorite shiny Pokemon from Hidden Fates in the comments section below. But we have the first item as such. So, so many memories with the birds. If you are a longtime subscriber here, as I'm gonna begin to open this up, the total amount for spent was 526, so we got a lot of work to do today. But you know about the card, the birds, and the nightmares that it gave me. Wow, it's been a while since I've opened up one of the, the ETBs for this set. I can't say it enough how many incredible memories there are in cards in this set. You're probably seeing right now on screen some of the top cards from the set and their approximate value, like the shiny Charizard, the Mewtwo GX. Of course, we got the Eevee Lucians as well with Umbreon taking the cake for most valuable one. Cynthia was always such a special card as well. Well, there's the Umbreon. So there's so many incredible cards, and then there's a Golisopod GX. Well, we're gonna hopefully not pull that Golisopod today, and we shall see. I also wanna thank all of those who are my supporters on Patreon. If you don't know what that is, there's a link in the description to go check it out. I do extra content on there, and y'all do support me on there, so I really do appreciate that. If you would like to go check out my Patreon, again, the link is in the description below. Lots of cool stuff on there, and I appreciate everyone, because that's an extra way to support the channel, and I do appreciate y'all that do support me. Here are the very, very cool divider. Now there should be, where is it? Am I not looking right? Isn't there supposed to be a DeBirds card in here? Am I going crazy right now? Yeah, wait, there, there has to be, right? There has to be a DeBirds card. Oh my gosh, it's right there. <laughs> I was like, <sighs> I've come to grow and love the DeBirds card. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. It is such a beautiful card. And I will be in some great condition too. Wow. So I will be very, very happy to keep that. And the sleeves. Can't say enough about the sleeves. The type of sleeve now is so much worse than these ones, which are nice and transparent right there. Uh, it's terrible what they did with it. So you got the, we got the dice, the counters, and I think we should begin with the very first pack. So many incredible memories, which I'll talk about today, which I'll talk about today. We do, as I'm gonna give you all the code, we do get to do the guess the energy. I believe it should be just three. It's not four, is it? Or is there no guess? No, there has to be. Where's the, where's the energy? Oh, it is. Man, it's been a while, guy. It's been a while. Koga's Trap, maybe we'll get a Domisty. Da Misty, Ekans, Snorlax, and a Clefable. Well, that was a little anticlimactic, but that's okay. We can't get too crazy. Uh, it was Pokemon Worlds DC 2019. Literally a week later, this set came out. It was so much fun going to the stores, uh, getting product. Now, where's the, where's the, is it just two? Four. Oh, is it really? No, it's three. Yeah, I thought I did this right. No. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. All right. I open Pokemon cards sometimes. Uh, it was so much fun going to the store, getting cards, uh, opening the cards, and trying to go for all the incredible shiny Pokemon that are in this set. Let me just concentrate real quick. I believe it, this should be right here. So it would be three, it'd be four. Can I count? There we go. All right, now we're gonna do the Guess the Energy next time. And this set was fun. Uh, and then it got super, super popular where, where people were buying out stores. There's a Vaporeon holographic. Uh, I'm only counting, by the way, for the budget, ultra rares and above, not the holographics. So gotta be from the shiny vault. The SVs, the shiny Pokemon are where we can do the most damage. Um, yeah, it became such a popular set. I mean, it still is a very, very popular set as well. I uh, guess the energy psychic <laughs> can do it. And uh, 
I had one specific memory that holds like specific to me as we have our first shiny of the day. Never ending story shiny, Celesteela and a Mew. So that does count. So I'm sorry, the shiny vault shinies will count regardless of if they're crazy expensive or not. Uh, there was a specific tin uh, that was sitting underneath my car seat. I don't know how it got down there. It was down there for over a month. I was with another creator, his name is Danny Duncan. Now, this is all on a video on the channel. I think it was called like, I pulled Charizard or something from years ago. Uh, we found the tin underneath, or he did, underneath my seat and I'm like, hey, let's go back to my studio, Leaf Energy, and open up the tin. We opened up the tin and we pulled a shiny Charizard. Was sitting in the Texas heat, mind you, over 100 degrees. We pulled the Charizard, got it graded by Beckett. It became a black label. So how about that? Kudos to Pokemon and the plastic wrapping in tin actually holding up in the Texas heat and getting a black label, which is the absolute best grade that you can get in grading. Oh wait, oh, we got a Lady Full Art and a Gyarados GX. So a perfect pack right there. A two for one special, very nice. And I uh, can't believe that it came back a black label. It was just so crazy. And that was the second time I pulled the shiny Charizard. The other time it was the very, very last pack in a video, or at least I remember it being the last pack. Also a video here on my channel and uh, fighting energy. And I think it was like, we pulled the shiny Charizard and then maybe maybe we pulled the, the DeBirds or something for the last pack. I'm not really sure. It was really close. And I thought that was just the most hilarious thing. We haven't pulled a Demisty yet. I'm not gonna explain what that is because you will see when we do pull it, but we have not pulled it. This is all just so far from the Elite Trainer Box. We do have, we got the tins as well. I remember the tins being the absolute hottest product for Hidden Fates. I mean, they started out with the pin collections. I didn't get those today. Fire Energy for Charizard. They started out with the pin collections, the Mew and Mewtwo ones. Uh, I did get those. They had the, these tins, the ETBs. They had the Rayquaza box, the the hit like the, the massive Pokeball box. Nothing in that one. So there was a lots of variety of products, um, and like I said, it was such a fun time for Pokemon Pokemon cards. It was 2019 towards the latter part. Things started getting heating up because of it. Leaf Energy, and then of course 2020 hit, and so on. But I don't know. I just I really do miss those days a lot because it was just so fun with all the different creators and the collaborations that we would do. Ekans, did we get two of those Ekans? No, we did not. Anyway, uh, Charmeleon and an Arbok. But uh, it was really a lot of fun to open up Hidden Fates way back when and try to go for all the different shinies that were in the set. So it is really nostalgic, water energy to be opening it up right now and attempting to get another shiny. We've only gotten one shiny today uh, and we do have the equivalent of one booster box or 36 packs, another Gyarados. So how about that? Two Gyarados, Gyaradai. So we got that many. This is the final pack of the Elite Trainer box right now. I feel like stuff is just falling all over the place over here. I have a stack of all the cards that I'm opening and, uh, and it's just falling all over the place. Uh, let's go with Psychic Energy. So no guesses of the energy, even though it took me a while to finally get the amount of cards right for the card trick. Farfetch'd, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Psyduck, and a Blaine's Last Stand. Currently up right now, and I guess I shouldn't technically, you know what, I don't know if I counted this or not for the cards pulled, but I will go ahead and add this to the value because it is a card that I could sell potentially. So these are two loose packs because I wanted to make a full booster box worth. So it's 36 packs. The rest of the packs will be from these tins. I'm gonna go for these two random Mewtwo loose packs right now. Just see if we can get lucky. I don't know where they're from. But we shall see if we can get, like what product they're from. Leaf energy. Fairy energy, rest in peace, fairy energy. 
Oh, there's gonna be a Demissy. So back then, this card would come. There'd always be. Well, that's close. Pokemon Center Lady and Sabrina, Ekans, Confifi, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Ralts! We have a second shiny of the day, a Ralts shiny. Very nice. Moving on to this pack, and then we'll get to those tins. Uh, again, fighting energy. If you would like a chance at that Evolving Skies booster box, I'm not sure how much they're going for. I think the prices were going up well above 500 for those, maybe a couple hundred more. Uh, definitely subscribe, leave a like, and let me know what's your fav favorite shiny from Hidden Fates in the comment section below. Mew, Mew, Mew. Let's move to the next 10. From my experience with the three different tins that you could have got or still get, it was never in the Charizard tin, which is why we're gonna open the Charizard tin right now first. The Charizard tin, you can see the back of it too. The Charizard tin never actually had Charizards in it. Not that people are pulling them left and right in them. Uh, I always just felt like the better pulls were from the other tins. Just like, you know, when you were opening up base set packs way back when. And then here's the Charizard. <sighs> Do I count this? I guess I should. I'll count this for the goal, however much that, much that is worth. You can have this, good luck. I feel like they had come out with different versions of the tins where they the original ones had the plastic and then they moved it to paper. But I may be wrong, like this type of paper, but that was like the latter version. So is this like the original version? I don't really know and I don't really care that much other than we got some work to do on hitting that 526. Four cards. Fairy energy, rest in peace. I should just say fairy energy. You don't get to say that often again in Scarlet and Violet and Sword and Shield. It's been years. Cubone, Geodude, Lapras, a Mewtwo GX. Maybe we'll get the Mewtwo shiny full art. That was always a fun one. Get that one going for the other evolutions was always a blast. Uh, water energy, there's the psychic energy. Sabrina's suggestion. We still have not pulled a Misty or I'm just not paying attention. Psyduck, Ekans, Feromosa shiny. So our third shiny of the day, if I'm looking at these correctly, a Feromosa shiny. We still got loads and loads of work to do. Like we gotta get one of the evolutions, and then of course getting Charizard is basically like almost an auto win fighting energy. It's, I don't think it's quite worth like ungraded. I think it's close to $400. So that would obviously be great. And just pulling that, it would be insane. Uh, it, it is such a beautiful card as well too. With the texture, just everything about it just feels way more premium. Uh, do I have my nostalgia goggles on for the set? Probably. Fighting energy, and you're also like, nostalgia goggles, wait, Domisty, Domisty, yeah! <laughs> it's Domisty! That took way too long to pull. A Domisty's determination. Star you, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, Jiggly, and an Eevee for that tin. See, I told you, we'll go with the next tin. That is a Raichu GX, and honestly, I mean, we've gotten some, not, like a few decent shinies, but nothing too, too crazy. We haven't even pulled a full art shiny. And uh, Paldane Fates, Shining Fates, my goodness, what's going on here? Yikes, that's lovely. Well, that still counts, as I can just put some oil on that and it's good as new, right? Yeah, all the other Fate sets, Shining Fates, Paldean Fates, just, they just don't do it for me. As far as, like, Paldean Fates isn't bad by all means, but it really is so much more fun opening up Hidden Fates with a variety of Pokemon that you can pull from the set. Leaf Energy. I should have said Fairy Energy. Don't miss me! <laughs> I promise you, the editing there, Felice, just, that's what it sounds like exactly. Magikarp, Slowpoke, Zapdos, and a Lapras. So, what other fun memories from Hidden Fates were there? We had the tin underneath my car, just the first time pulling it, just, it did take a while. Uh, it definitely took a while, Psychic Energy, to finally pull the Charizard, so I've only pulled it twice, ever. Uh, not that I've opened up like an insane amount or anything. I feel a shiny. I feel a shiny. There we go, a Zerkatree. 
Well, we're getting all of the, like the smaller shinies. I remember it took me forever to try to get a Charmander shiny. So I would get a Charmillionaire. Um, the Charizard is different, but the Charmander was one of the final shiny Pokemon that I couldn't pull. It took me so long to pull it. And there was a, there were several like that. Um, fairy energy, rest in peace, dark energy. But, oh wait, do we have another Domisti? No, it's Koga's Trap. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just so crazy and fun trying to get the complete set for it. There we go! A Bonnet GX, our first full art shiny of the day, and an Eevee holographic. But that looks pretty cool. Probably not worth too, too much. Still got ways to go, but I am very happy whenever we can pull a full art, as long as it's not Buzzwool or a Glycopod. Don't like the Glycopods. Water energy. Here we go, final pack of the Raichu tin, but this tin's been already better than the Charizard one. Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Clefairy, and Bill's Analysis. Well, this is the final tin of the first round of the tins. There's only three different varieties that, that you can get that hopefully didn't like destroy the camera. Get a little too excited when the Gyarados tin is probably the number one tin as far as the heat goes for the different type of pulls that you can get. So there's the code card. There's the Gyarados GX. Hopefully I put the Raichu one. And let's get to the four packs. Let's get into these four packs. I'm hoping for at least one evolution. Lightning energy, there just has to be some sort of mega. The Misty! Metapod, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans, Wimpod! Any Wimpod fans out there? It's another shiny though. So, a Wimpod shiny. Hey, it's a very nice start for the Gyarados tin, am I right? Let's go with Fairy Energy, rest in peace. Psychic Energy, Charmeleon, Chansey, Brock's Grit, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, and a Zerkatry. Well, it's another four shiny, and we did pull the original smaller Zerkatry. Now we have the big full art Zerkatry shiny. So that's. I told you the Gyarados tins are hot. Still, they're in fuego this many years later. It's two pulls in a row, two, two, two packs. Water energy. Let's see if, if we can pull a turkey. Do we get a Misty? No. That's three good pulls in a row. Cubone, Voltorb, Farfetch'd. I also remember the Team Rocket Full Art Trainer card. That was always, it was fairly common, but it was so cool to see Jesse and James on a card like that. So that was always exciting to pull. Uh, what else do we got? Dark Energy, I might as well say it. Finally, 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 patch on back for getting a Guess the Energy right. Sabrina's Suggestion, Metapod, Magikarp, Judude, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, Jolteon, and a Zapdos. You know what we have not pulled yet is one of the da birds. That's when all of the da birds are on one card. Well, let's move on. Let us move on to the next round. I got three tins left. So 12 packs overall left for what will have been an entire booster box. Let us see how this Raichu tin goes and let's see how this Raichu's condition is. There's the code card for that. There's the Raichu. I will count that for whatever dollar amount it is to help us out. Here are the four pools. Um, frankly, that's gonna be a mission from now on is to see if we can get through the rest of this opening. So. 12 packs, including this one. Can we get through it without pulling any of the DeBirds cards? I know, it's like, yeah, that's free money right now to help you to get that 526 psychic energy, but sometimes just gotta stick with tradition. Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, ooh, very nice reverse psychic energy, and a Vaporeon holographic. So not counting any of the holographics, it's gotta be the shinies and above, and all the ultra rares too, from, not from the shiny arc. Uh, let's go with metal energy. Oh, very nice, Pat's on back. I guess the energy's right. Scyther, Magmar, Charmillionaire, Saryu, Ekans, Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy, Bill, and Blaine's Last Stand. That's also a full art trainer in the set. I don't think it's worth too, too much, but it always was really cool to pull it. Four cards. 
Leaf energy. What? There goes that. Was it one card streak? Anyway, da Misty. Da Misty. There we go. That's like four da Misties now. Start it off slow. Pettis, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, Survivor. Survivor and another Bills analysis. So definitely getting a variety of the latter gen Pokemon. I really, really want to get one of the gen one earlier type gen Pokemon shinies. Uh, I'll go with Metal Energy. Bet she didn't think I was gonna say that. Metapod, Pokemon Center Lady, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, there we go! Finally, finally, finally! A full art shiny bird is the word, a ho o g x Very nice, so Gen 1 Pokemon, or excuse me, not Gen 1 Pokemon, but one of the earlier Gen Pokemons that I was talking about. And I am very, very happy that it's also just a frankly, very beautiful card that hopefully helps us get into that 526 budget. Alrighty then, uh, we're into the Gyarados tin. I'll save the Charizard tin for last. There is the code. Whatever that's worth, that's going in the pile to help us out. And we got the stack of tins over here. It's, oh, so many memories of tins stacking and then I'll put my cards in them and then they get all damaged. All right, let's go with Psychic Energy for the guess the energy. Sabrina suggesting <laughs> Dumb Misty. I think that's five. Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, and Golem. All right, I mean, high expectations for the Spiritos tin right now. That lets us see in this one. Leaf Energy. Metapod, Pokemon Center Lady, Scyther, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, Cubone, Mew, and another Mewtwo GX. I forgot. Remember, we gotta escape the Debirds. If anything, of not reaching our budget, 526, Metal Energy. Not pulling a Debirds will be fantastic. Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Star U, a Matang, Matang Shiny, very nice, and a Weezing. So add that to the pile. Final pack of the Gyarados tin. Now, whenever I would open up tins or sets, you always get one call of the day or a call. I am putting in my call right now. You're supposed to technically say the name of the card, like, oh, there's a shiny Charizard. I'm just gonna guess there's a shiny Pokemon in this pack. If you want to at home, you have one call. You can save your call for later on. There's not that many packs left. Leaf Energy, Fighting Energy, Magmar. So will there be a shiny, watch it beat the birds, Voltorb. Oh, there will be, so call of the day. It's a Turninator GX full art shiny. So not just a shiny, but a full art one. Very, very nice. Brings us to the final 10. I don't know, the next time I'll be able to, up, be able to open up Hidden Fates, but again, I don't take this these opportunities for granted to not only be sitting here opening up cards, but to have you, to have y'all at home taking the time, your valuable time and watching me and us open up packs together. So I do appreciate y'all at home. Oh, look at that poor Charizard. How does that happen? How does that happen? Anyway, I'll, hopefully this guy is worth a decent amount, regardless of the condition. This is our final chance to try to get to that 526. Again, if you want that Evolving Skies booster box, I'll respond in probably at least a week. Give y'all time to watch this video. Uh, to a specific random comment, and we'll give them further instructions uh, for whoever is lucky enough to get an Evolving Skies box. Fighting energy. Rest in peace, fairy energy. Maybe the final fairy energy. Jinx, wait. Uh, is it? I think I see something shiny in this one. Caterpie? Bettis? It's probably just an ultra rare. No, it's a Lucario! But there is something behind it! There is something behind it! <gasps> escape it. We couldn't escape it. You had to throw us that beautiful Lucario shiny and the DeBirds make their grand appearance five years later. 
<laughs> it's a hyper rare, I know, but it's the birds. Well, <laughs> that's our only hyper rare of the day, my goodness. Oh, all right, all right. That, we couldn't escape the bird. you just never can. Psychic energy, you just never can. I saw something shiny. Who would have thought it said the birds? I would have thought. Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude. Now we need, we need as we get a Brock's train, training, the Hall of Foil goes across the whole card there. Um, we, you need to give us like a, maybe a maybe an Espeon full art shiny would be really nice. I think that's the only way they come in anyway, so I'll take that. Uh, let's go with Fairy Energy Rest in Peace. Domisty! That'll probably be the final Domisty. Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Ekans, and a Jolteon. And of course, it would be a DeBird's Pack Art for the final hidden base pack. Last chance. Pretty much impossible unless it's a Charizard. A little last pack magic, Psychic Energy. Can we get a little last pack magic? I see something. I see something. Watch it be another DeBird's. Wait! So, not, it's a bus full. I know. I'll take it at this point, but. <laughs> You can't escape him! But you can at home by clicking right here above me. You can go watch that video. Run! Run! But thanks for watching.